Well, get ready for a celebration of music, of crafts, food, and fun this weekend in Delaware County. It's time for the third annual Haverford Spring Festival. Tom Kelly is the director of the Spring Fest, and he's here now uh, to talk to us about it this morning. Tom, welcome back. Uh, really, as, as I said, there's food, there's fun, uh, there's all kinds of vendors, but really this is about the music. This could be called... Uh, a music fest instead of, instead of a spring fest, right? It is. It's a music and arts festival. Uh, Vi. We, uh, we've got great bands on stage, but we also invite artisans and crafters in um, to sell their wares, display their wares, and of course food from all over uh, the Philadelphia area. We just saw a uh, shot there, the crowds. Uh, how many did you say? 10,000, 15,000? About 10,000 people we expect this year, and, uh, and it's, it's growing every year. It's, it's, it's really um, a terrific day on uh, Brookline Boulevard in Havertown, and uh, it's a great fundraiser, too, for, uh, for our causes. You mentioned the fundraising. Uh, who do the pro proceeds go to hell? Kelly Music for Life is a nonprofit 501c3 that produces this event as well as other events, and the, mus or the, the money that we gather from, for, from these events goes back into music education. Education. Sadly, uh, music education and arts programs are the first to get cut yeah, by, cut all over and, the country. and and it's and it's really um, it's not right. We we feel strongly about uh, how essential music is in people's lives, and it's important to us that we keep that music alive. Now, uh, this festival is again it's, it's in third. This is the third year. It's still relatively new. So, what kind of response are you getting back? What's what's the feedback that you're getting from from those who come and participate or are just there? The yeah, community, the yeah, the community loves it. I mean, we, we get not only people from Haverford Township, we, about half of the people that come to the festival are from the immediate area, but then others, they, they know some of the bands that are on the bill. Uh, they may have seen them at the Philadelphia Folk Festival or seen them play at some concert venue elsewhere and come to Haverford Township for this day that only costs them a $3 donation at the gate to come in and join us. And it seems to be uh, getting some buzz uh, in the music industry as well. It's not that I'm tapped into it, but my sense is because you're getting some great bands that are coming. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We're getting a little credibility, I think. Yeah. Cred is what they, yeah, is what they say. Cred. And, uh, and, and the bands are coming to us and saying, we want to play this festival. I mean, it's a great opportunity for the bands to expose themselves to. And, um, you know, we're just we're just thrilled with the sponsors that are coming on board. Acme Markets is our key sponsor this year uh, and will be for the next three years. So there's long-term commitments coming from the sponsors, and the bands want to get on board as well. Well, the Haverford Spring Fest is happening this Sunday, May 1st. It starts at noon, goes to 7 p.m. Tom, I hope the uh, the weather cooperates. Uh, I think it will. Keep our fingers crossed. Uh, this is at Brookline Boulevard and Darby Road in Havertown, Delaware County. For more information, come to our website at NBC10.com or check out the NBC10 app. You come every year, so we keep having you back. Thank you, Vi. You're looking Appreciate fit. It, hey, you too. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.